Hello, welcome back to another episode of DIY Explorer. I'm Dave, your host, and in this episode, we are going to fix a concrete slab. This piece of concrete slab that I'm sitting on now, because it's already fixed. Check it out. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. So after a plumbing problem in this house, my girlfriend's house, the plumbers came in, they cut a hole in this floor, two feet by four feet and four feet deep. And when they finished, they left us a hole. And instead of calling a plumber and spending several thousand dollars to fix what they already cut a hole in, we did it ourselves. So coming up, you're going to learn how to fix a hole in a concrete slab. For this project, you're going to need sand concrete mix, concrete mix, concrete bonding agent, patch and level mix, that's optional, floor primer adhesive, floor patch and leveler. For this specific repair, you're going to need under laminate foam, flooring tape, general adhesive, liquid nails will work, laminate flooring install kit, and laminate flooring. Bin and five gallon bucket for mixing, shovel, brick trowel, concrete polishing trowel, paintbrush, power drill, and a mixing bit. For this repair, rubber mallet will help, flooring installation kit, circular saw or table saw, and laminate flooring. Just reminder, I'm not a professional. I was assisted and advised by a professional. There are many methods to do this. This is only one way. When prepping the surface, you want to clear out any extra debris and then tamp it down. How much concrete do you need? This formula will help you with times length times thickness equals your square footage. When mixing sand mix, make sure the water and mix is consistent. Add both back and forth until it gets just right. Make sure you clean your edges, get the extra dust off, wet your base, then add your concrete mix and spread it out using the trowel. Get it all in the crevices and corners there. We had some extra wood blocks laying around, so we used those to tamp down our concrete. And we added small batches to build up layers till we got about two inches from the top of our flooring. Now grab your regular concrete mix and mix it up into a soupy slurry. You want to mix that to it's nice and consistent. Then get your adhesive concrete bonding agent for the edges. Put that on with a brush, nice and thick. And pour your concrete layer. And now spread that out real nice and even. Mix another batch. Put it on top of that, same consistency as the first one. Now mix another layer, much more thicker than the first one, and put it on. Spread it out like previously. And one final layer that we added, just to get it to where we needed it. We checked to make sure it was level. The leveling agent will correct that later. Finally, then I added some patch and leveler. This is if you need the extra little, like half inch to quarter inch. You need some indoor primer adhesive. Make sure you follow the instructions on the box. Each brand will be different. Mix it up consistently. 
and then apply it with a sponge or roller, nice and thick, and then let it set for 20 minutes. Now mix your leveler. It's going to be a milkshake consistency. Pour it out. It's so gratifying. You want to spread it out, but use a light touch. Let that dry six plus hours. Clean the surface with a sponge or cloth. And then reapply the primer for the next layer. For this project, we actually did two levels of leveler. Generally, you don't pour more than one inch thick. Your project may only need one layer. Get your laminate flooring kit. Here's a tip to remove damaged pieces. Drill a hole and use a dowel and your rubber mallet to pound it out. Now we're going to install the underlayment. Unroll it and cut it to size. A sharp knife and a straight edge will definitely help you. Tape it down. Uh, plastic tape will create a vapor barrier, which is important. Here's a tip for you. When inserting pieces of flooring in a deep space, add wax on the edges to make it slide smoother. Subscribe and like today if you're enjoying the video. So keep replacing the boards until you get to the very last boards there. Grab your liquid nails or adhesive, put it along the three edges of the board. So the next part I was off camera, so you're going to cut off three sides of the lip so that it fits in and then tamp it into place. Use your edging tool to pull it in the final position. A cloth underneath it will help prevent any damage. Then final piece lit into place. And all done. So I hope this video helped you with your problem. Total cost was about under $500. Total time, if you were to do it continuously, would be a couple of days. We took actually several months because life gets in the way sometimes. If you like the video, hit the like up button and subscribe. We do lots of fun stuff. Not always cat stuff, people. I'm not just a cat channel. I'm just telling you that now. So thanks for watching. There's some videos on this side that you may like as well. Thanks again.